You have worked hard and saved hard all your life and you finally got to the point where you can get hold of that tax-free cash from your pension fund. So why wouldn't you take it straight away? But hold it right there. Is it really such a no-brainer to take that 25% tax-free cash lump sum from your pension fund? That's the subject of this video today. Welcome back everyone. It's wonderful to have your company again. If you are new here, I am a financial coach who empowers people to achieve their money and ultimately life goals. Too many people sleepwalk into taking the tax-free cash at the start of their retirement simply because they can. Here are the reasons why you might not want to take that cash. The first reason not to take the tax-free cash is simply because you don't need it. If you've already got enough to cover those big ticket items that you had in mind at the start of your retirement, such as if you've already paid off your mortgage, then it's pointless taking out that tax-free chunk from your pension to leave it just sitting somewhere else doing nothing. Money should always be used for a specific purpose, such as spending on something today blow it all on a big holiday if you want, or invest it elsewhere to use in the future, or gifting it to somebody that you care about. Now, as contrary as this might sound to the first reason not to take the tax-free cash, the second reason not to take it is because you need a bigger income. Because simply, if you take out 25% of your pension fund at the start of your retirement, that means that the remaining 75% has to work so much harder in order to give you your desired income. By leaving 100% of your fund invested, or to buy the annuity with 100%, that means that you have better chances of having a bigger income with your pension fund as opposed to taking 25% of it away. Money that's in a defined contribution or DC pension fund is not subject to inheritance tax. Well, it's not subject to inheritance tax at all if you die before the age of 75. If you die after the age of 75, then your beneficiaries pay income tax on the fund at their marginal rate. So the inheritance tax treatment of a DC fund is a little bit more complicated if you die after the age of 75 as opposed to before it. But to all intents and purposes, it's a really efficient way of passing on money to those that you want to leave something to. A DC pension fund is not treated as part of your estate, so it isn't subject to probate, and passing it on to the beneficiaries named in your fund is really straightforward. By taking out 25% lump sum from your pension and putting it somewhere else, it then falls within your estate and so is subject to inheritance tax treatment and your beneficiaries risk losing 40% of it as a result. So by not taking the lump sum out, you are maximising the amount of your pension that you are able to leave to your beneficiaries if that's important to you. If you take all of your tax-free allowance, meaning that you take 25% out of your pension fund in one go, then that means that all your subsequent income from your DC pension is subject to income tax. On the other hand, if you take your tax-free allowance as part of your regular income, then you can limit the amount of tax that you pay on that regular income. This could work particularly well if your pension fund is not the only source of income during retirement. For example, if you've reached state pension age, or if you have income from other sources, such as stocks and shares ISAs, or perhaps rental property. And you can spread out this 25% tax-free allowance from an uncrystallized pension fund or from a flexi access drawdown. The longer you leave your fund uncrystallized, then the bigger the tax-free portion will also grow. And with the current abolishment of the LTA, which of course could be subject to change, that's good news. Now don't forget that the LTA still applies to the 25% tax-free. Even though the LTA has been removed in the sense that you no longer pay a penalty for going over it, and you no longer have to do the test at age 75, the LTA still applies to the 25% tax-free, meaning that it's limited to a maximum maximum of £268,275. So do bear that in mind that even if you are fortunate to be in the position that your pension fund goes sailing past that previous LTA limit, there is still a maximum to the amount of tax-free cash that you can take. I hope you found this video useful. As ever, let me know in the comments. And as you can imagine, the subject of this video is the reasons not to take the 25% tax-free cash. In the next video, I will be going through the reasons why you should consider taking the tax-free cash. 
In the meantime, if this has all been really confusing for you and you want to know about the absolute basics of UK pensions, then watch this video next. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hoi vairamadro!